Hello everyone, I am FiberMall's test engineer, Gavin. Today, let's talk about PAM4 signals. I'll cover five aspects. What is a PAM4 signal? Why do we need PAM4 signal technology? The advantages of PAM4 signal technology. Applications of PAM4 signals. PAM4 signal testing. First, let's understand what a PAM4 signal is. PAM4 stands for four-level pulse amplitude modulation. It uses four different signal levels for transmission modulation. As a popular next-generation high-speed signal interconnect technology, PAM4 signals have two additional levels compared to traditional NRZ, non-return to zero, signals. NRZ signals use high and low levels to represent logical zero and one, transmitting one bit of logical information per cycle. In contrast, PAM4 signals use four different levels, 00, 01, 10, 11, to transmit two bits of information per cycle. Therefore, within the same symbol period, PAM4 signals achieve twice the bit rate of NRZ signals, improving transmission efficiency. But why do we need PAM4 signal technology? The global bandwidth optical transmission market continues to experience significant demand growth. Existing network technologies and infrastructure face higher requirements for signal transmission capacity. Traditional NRZ signals encounter transmission bottlenecks due to this massive bandwidth demand. PAM4 signal technology, as a mature alternative, addresses the limitations of NRZ signals and maintains lower construction costs while meeting the growing bandwidth needs. Now, Let's explore the advantages of PAM4 signal technology. With rapid advancements in information and network technology, the digital era demands higher information transfer rates. PAM4 signals stand out due to their higher transmission efficiency and lower construction costs, making them a popular choice for next-generation high-speed signal interconnects. However, PAM4 signals also have some disadvantages. Despite transmitting more information within the same cycle, PAM4 signals have smaller eyes in their eye diagrams. This makes them more susceptible to external interference, especially noise. Additionally, PAM4 signals have shorter transmission distances due to increased susceptibility to environmental interference, resulting in higher error rates. In terms of applications, PAM4 technology finds widespread use in high-speed signal interconnects. For example, data centers utilize PAM4 based optical transceivers at speeds of 200G, 400G, and 800G. 5G networks rely on 50G optical transceivers using PAM4 modulation. Future technologies like PCIe 6.0 also adopt PAM4, achieving speeds of 32 gigabits per second and 64 gigabits per second. Earlier, we discussed the concept of PAM4 signals, their advantages, and their application scenarios. Now, Let's delve into the practical testing of PAM4 signals. As data rates continue to increase, such as from 32 gigabits per second in PCIe 5.0 to 64 gigabits per second in PCIe 6.0, there's a need to enhance data rates while working within limited bandwidth. To achieve this, we transition from the traditional NRZ, non-return to zero, modulation to PAM4. Today, we'll focus on PAM4 signal generation using the Error Analyzer module from Sinolink. First, let's consider the PPG, Pattern Generator, module. We connect the PPG to the input of our oscilloscope. For our experiment, we generate a 32 gigabits per second PAM4 signal, which is a differential signal. We connect both channel 1 and channel 3 of the oscilloscope to capture the 32 gigabits per second, 64 gigabits per second effective PAM4 signal. Now, let's explore the PPG settings. In the PPG interface, we can choose between NRZ and PAM4. Since we're generating PAM4, I select PAM4. We set the data rate to 32 gigabits per second, equivalent to 64 gigabits per second due to the four-level encoding. The voltage swing for PAM4 can be adjusted. We set it to 800 MV, with a range from 0 to 1.2 V. Additionally, we configure the pulse shaping, choosing the PRBS13Q pattern. Next, we enable the PPG output and observe the signal on the Tektronix 33G oscilloscope, which has a single channel bandwidth of 59 GHz. We use Tektronix's PAM4 signal analysis software. By configuring the math function, Math1, to compute the difference between channel 1 and channel 3, we obtain the differential PAM4 signal. The software analyzes the eye diagram, 
providing parameters such as rise time, fall time, and linearity for the 32 gigabits per second PAM4 signal. During signal analysis, we disable equalization settings. Clicking single triggers the oscilloscope to capture the entire signal. The resulting eye diagram looks promising. We'll soon obtain additional parameters, including the effective data rate, 64 gigabits per second, rise and fall times, and linearity. The PM4 analysis software processes the signal, providing essential parameters. After thorough analysis, we confirm a data rate of 32 gigabits per second, 64 gigabits per second effective for our PAM4 signal. In summary, we've covered the basics of PAM4 signals, their advantages, disadvantages, and real-world applications. Our practical test involved generating a 32 gigabits per second PAM4 signal, 64 gigabits per second effective, and observing its eye diagram using a real-time oscilloscope. Thank you for following FiberMall's unique testing insights.